What's up, guys? Perfect, thank you. What's up, guys? Awesome, thank you. What's up, guys? I'm John the Potter, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a super exciting video. So we, I'm headed to Ohio this weekend to do my first ever workshops. So we're gonna, we're doing a workshop called Throw, Glaze, and Sell. And so that's kind of what I feel like are my strengths in uh, pottery are the throwing on the wheel. And then some of my experimental glaze combinations with the help of Mako. Uh, and then selling, cause I've been a business person long before I was a potter. And I'm excited to just do workshops and see what it's like. Cause I've never even been to a workshop, let alone led a workshop. So. It's gonna be a big experiment this weekend, but we're gonna go check out Mako. We're gonna see some, I don't even know what's in Ohio, but we're gonna see it. And so we do one workshop on Saturday, one on Sunday uh, in Columbus and Cleveland. So if you're headed there, thanks for coming and hopefully you had a great time and I didn't just crash and burn and fail. But no, I have a whole presentation kind of laid out and uh, I'm gonna do some throwing demos and we're gonna do some glazing stuff with Mako glazes and then I'm gonna just do a whole little spiel about the business side of pottery and growing a following and growing a brand and let's do it! Oh hey, this is Future John. Two quick things. We have all these pots going up on Etsy tonight at 6 p.m. So if you wanna buy some cozy cups, marbled cups, go check it out. Second thing, we were on the Wheel Talk podcast when we were in Ohio, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But if you want to go check out the Wheel Talk podcast with Ryan Durbin, go check it out. Back to past, John. Shh. Oh, it's six o'clock this morning, and we're headed to the airport. I'm actually like 75% ner or 75% excited and 25% nervous. I'm just excited to be like traveling for the YouTube channel, basically. All right, we gotta get to the airport. Let's do it. What is up, guys? We are in Ohio. Whoa, that's bright. We are at the Buckeye Ceramic Supply, which is owned by Mako. So we're gonna go in and take a look around. So we're not, the, the workshops are actually not till tomorrow. So today we're just kind of getting set up and getting our head around what we're gonna do for the workshops. And yeah, so it's actually super nice here, way better than Minnesota is. Right. So like, do you know which, like, what glaze is this I one? I don't have no. any clue what the numbers are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bump them up. Yeah. Like, most people probably have no idea that. The foundation is pretty sick looking. Yeah. It's almost transparent. All right, friends, what a day. We made it, had a full day at Mako, room 205. And God, got a tour around Mako, it was awesome. Super cool to see how all the glazes are made and just getting set up for the workshop. It was super fun. So um, now we're checking into the hotel, gonna go get some food, uh, gonna try and get a good night's sleep to do the workshops tomorrow. Oh, it's just crazy, like to visit a glaze manufacturing company 
like to see how it's all made. Super excited for, I think the workshops tomorrow are gonna be really fun. I think I kind of feel a little like I'm totally winging it. Here I am, wish me luck. I mean, by the time you see this, I'll be totally done. And All right, let's see what this room looks like. Nice. I was like starting to talk to myself and I was like, I should just turn on the camera because why not just talk to the camera? I like can't believe how nervous I am for these workshops tomorrow. Like for me to like just post videos and like do like make videos and talk to the camera, it's like so easy, but like all these people like want to come see me. It's so weird. I don't know, I, I, I just don't like honestly think I'm that good of a potter for everyone to want to come see me, but it's kind of fun. It's super fun actually. So I'm hoping that I just can do some really good things. So it's either gonna be like, I get through everything that I have planned in like an hour and a half, or the actual workshop that I prepared is gonna be like seven hours long. So hopefully we land right somewhere in the middle of those two and it's perfect, but I have my doubts that it's gonna be perfect on the first time. Now we're just gonna pack up our stuff, get out of here and get to Ohio, Buckeye, Buckeye Ceramic Supply. Then we do the workshop there, three and a half hours, hopefully I'll get some filming in there. Got a few pots for sale, try and sell. And then we're gonna head, then we're gonna do the podcast with Wheel Talk Podcast with Ryan Durbin. So then right after the workshop, he's gonna, we're gonna sit down and do the podcast. Then we're headed up to uh, like near Cleveland for the next workshop, which is at Ohio Ceramic Supply. And so then we'll do the same thing tomorrow, nine to 9.30 to one. I'm gonna pretend like the audience is the camera because evidently I'm really good at just talking to a camera. So I might as well just pretend that I'm talking to the camera. I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Videos are so much less like intense because who knows if you'll ever even see this. Like I could totally edit this out. If I'm just rambling for God knows why, then later I look at that and I'm like, that was stupid. Why did I ramble for so long? Then I just edit it down and it doesn't have to be anything. Can't do that in real life. People are gonna see it all. They are going to see it all. All right, let's clean up and uh, pack this stuff up and get going. So uh, it turns out I set up that little shot so that I could shot of me going out the door. And I got outside the door and I was like, I locked myself out, didn't I? So I had to go down to the front office, get a new key to get back in here so that I could grab the camera. I felt kind of stupid, but I guess that's the YouTube vlogger life, huh? All right, let's try this again. Someone was watching me set up shots and then like roll my bag past. That would be really silly. It's kind of silly to watch a YouTuber make a video. Looks cool in the when I'm in the editing process and I have all these shots to work with. I actually I actually think I'm just like vlogging because um, I'm kind of nervous. I didn't. I just got laughs, not like a yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So everybody say what's up, guys. What's up, guys? Perfect, thank you. So you guys will be in a YouTube video pretty soon. Going great, I'm making some Ohio mugs. What's going on, John? What's going on? How are you guys doing? We're doing good, John. What are we making? What are you making? <laughs> Hi. How are you guys? Good. Doing great. You inspired me to make a pour over. That is awesome. How's it going? Oh, good. Look at that. Got a big old leaf That's going. It's gonna be sweet. I know. Good, how's it going? Good. Brian? Nice workshop so far. Oh, I'm trying to do an Ohio, but on this little pattern, it Someone keeps Someone has bumping. an Ohio cookie cutter. Do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the moon going, the They're phases like of the moon. That's awesome. Moony Pac-Man-y. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Always learning new skills.
right, friends, we are back in our second hotel in two nights after the workshop, which went, whew, I'm so relieved. Yeah, I think it went really well. I, I felt really good about it. I felt like I brought some good energy like I do with the YouTube channel. Uh, I don't feel like I threw very well. Like I threw like six or seven pieces in the demo and like I marbled the clay and anyway, I wasn't feeling great about my throwing, but the people that came were so awesome and nice and sold some pots and got some pots from people. People brought me pots. So gosh, it was so fun. So we get to get up tomorrow morning and do it all over again. But it's like, I've learned so much as being at Mako. That was so fun at the factory. Todd was super fun to talk to about all his experiences. He's a guy that works at Mako and works with all the glazes and does a lot of the testing and super smart guy. Um, and all the people at Mako, like Elizabeth is the manager there and Caitlin and Sarah helped me out. Carmen threw all the things. I know I'm forgetting people, but it was so fun to meet everybody there. And I'm so relieved that A, I'm actually able to talk in front of people, B, that I enjoyed it and that was really fun. So I'm definitely gonna be doing more workshops in the future. Look out for that. I think I'll focus on that a lot in 2020. So maybe coming to a city near you. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. It's the next day and we are about an hour away from doing the second workshop. And uh, we'll see if I get some filming in, but I don't wanna make this video like 35 minutes long. So I probably don't need that much more footage uh, to get a video. So. Yeah, we're just gonna enjoy it. So we're now we're up in Akron, Ohio at Ohio Ceramic Supply. Um, so excited for a whole new group of people. We're here at, where are we? Ohio Ceramic Supply. Everyone, look at the camera, say, what's up, guys? What's, what's up, guys? <laughs> awesome, thank you. And just experimenting. I'm putting a big foot on my mug. <laughs> big foot. Big foot, yeah. Sweet, and you are from Florida. Hey, Florida, go Gators. <laughs> <laughs> Making some slip. Making slip. Sweet, Howdy. look at that. Cool. A flower thing going here. How are you guys? What do you want to say to your classes back home? Well, um, uh, even though you're a teacher, you can always learn. And even if you think you know everything, there's always something new to learn, right? Nice. So. What you got? You're putting the handles on. Nice. Oh, nice. Got the... Uh, the cozy cup. Yeah, the cozy oh, cup. Right. That's sweet. You got some sort of luck of the Irish cup going. Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Harry Potter yes. Deathly Hollows. I made one Deathly Hollows mug one time. Yeah. That, very cool. Thank very cool. You. Yeah. I love the mirrors. Yeah. Hi, internet. <laughs> Oh, looking really good. So Sweet. I've been Sweet. inspired by uh, plants, trees. I grew up in 60 some acres of land. And okay. I'm always inspired by trees yeah, and everything. Yeah. So very cool. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Nice. If you have enough outlets to sell, then everything sells, and then you're free to kind of make what you want and keep creating new things and keep experimenting. Um, so that's why I like to focus on like how can we get the multiple outlets. This is a Rode microphone. Um, and then, I mean, as I've gone through this process, I've gotten very into making videos and it's like become a, like a separate passion of mine to make good videos and cinematic like sequences and stuff. Okay guys, so we are, we're at Ohio Ceramic Supply in Akron right now. We just finished up the second workshop of the two day workshops that we did. So we were in Cleveland, or in, we're in Akron now, we were in Columbus before, and uh, it went really well. Um, I'm super happy with how it went. It, from the sounds of people, it, they liked, I don't know how much they're lying to me, just because nobody's gonna come up to you after your workshops and be like, that was terrible. Don't ever do a workshop again. I mean, maybe somebody would do that, but anyway, people seem to really enjoy it. Um, pretty much, I'm going home with two pots, so I brought like 15 and sold them all, that was cool. And I think, I think I have knowledge to share for people, so it's really fun. Shared about building a business, of building a 
uh, business around pottery, having a following, doing multiple streams of revenue, that sort of thing. So all stuff that I should probably do videos about. Now we are uh, headed to the airport. My flight goes out in about four hours. And we're gonna go home and see the fam, which I'm super excited to be back with Rory and Ryder and uh, see them. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, share, all the things. Comment below, tell me where I should go to do a workshop in 2020, because I'm putting together a workshop road trip. All right, peace out. Oh, it's me. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha, so how are you going to call yourself?